Hi, it's Roberto Mickey again, and we've got a great video on a right hand form body removal. And this one was a spine from a yellowtail snapper. So the patient today had a work injury. She was at work handling some fish, and in this specific case, it was a yellowtail snapper, and she was putting it out for display and got stuck in the right long finger. She had persistent pain and went to an urgent care where x rays were obtained demonstrating that there was a foreign body. An attempt was made to take out the foreign body, but it was unsuccessful, and so she was sent to our office for formal treatment. A quick plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so that we can continue making these videos. A quick viewer discretion, this video does show images from a surgery, so if you don't want to see the inside of somebody, please click away. Uh, we're probably not going to do cultures, but I mean, it's just, it's the person who's here? Domingo. Domingo, okay. Vamos a chicarla que ¿Qué, señora? Okay. Uno, dos y tres. Disculpe que arde. Okay. So, and she said she didn't take a treatment. No, give it to her. Not give it to her. No, she started it already. I gave her antibiotics yesterday. Ayer no recogiste el medicamento en la farmacia? No. Oh, no? Oh, okay. ¿Y qué? ¿No tomaste nada? Sí, la cefalexina. Oh, cefalexina, okay. Uno, dos y tres, otra inyección. Disculpe, te duele. No tanto. No tanto, ¿no? No. Yeah, Estoy fuerte. Mujer. Al fin, mujer, ¿verdad? Sí, mujer. <risa> si fuera un hombre, pues ya estará llorando, gritando. A mí me pusieron una inyección en la planta del pie. Oh. Y la mujer estaba llorando. Y el señor me dijo, oh, qué valiente eres. La gente se queja mucho de eso y usted ni ha dicho nada. Okay, vamos a tomar una plaquita para ver dónde está. So earlier in the video, you could hear me discussing with the nurse whether the patient was on antibiotics. The day before, we had seen her in the office, and we had given her a prescription for doxycycline and levaquin, and these were both given to her as prophylaxis against a bacteria called Mycobacterium marinum. Mycobacterium marinum is related to another more famous mycobacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mycobacterium are in a class of bacteria called acid fast bacilli. Mycobacterium marinum can be found in many marine environments and should be considered in the prophylaxis for any injury that occurs in a marine environment. Fire in the hole. Oh, I see it. It's going across. It's going down yeah. across. So the foreign body is that spike in the middle of that red circle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So after removing the foreign body, we We'll go on to wash the wound out and then obtain some uh, cultures. We sent the cultures for AFB and then we sent it for an AFB at a slightly lower temperature than the typical AFB or mycobacterial culture because mycobacterium marinum grows at lower temperatures. In fact, that's why it has a predilection to infect the areas of the foot and the hand because in those areas, our body temperature is lower due to it being exposed to the ambient, ambient air, which is at a lower temperature than our body temperature. So when we send the cultures, we send it for a temperature between 28 and 32 degrees Celsius. No, 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 for any of you who have never had a yellowtail snapper, it is an incredibly good fish. It is a white meat that can be cooked in various ways, including fried, broiled, baked, and ceviche. My favorite way of eating this fish. The genus name and the species name for this yellowtail snapper is very interesting. First part of the genus name means swift or swift bird, and then the second part is tail. So it's a swift bird's tail, which interesting has a fork tip just like the yellowtail snapper. And the second part of the name is derived from Greek and meaning golden. So the genus and species name of this fish almost perfectly describes it. It describes it as a golden, swift-tailed 
fish. Here in Miami, this fish has the nickname of rabi rubia, which means blonde-tailed fish. Yellowtail snapper are easily fished throughout South Florida and can be found on most reefs. You can chum and get them to come up to your boat, and then they have very small mouths, so typically use a smaller hook. One of the funnest techniques for catching these fish is a sandball technique where you place the bait inside a sandball with the hook and then burst the sandball in the water uh, to cause a cloud which then the fish will run into and not see the hook and bite the bait. Hey, ruler. Hey, grande, señora. Es grande. Sí. Sí, es del lomo. Uh. Whoa. Es como, es más grande que el, el del señor. Es como... <laughs> 14 millimeters. Because it's the lomo grande, se metió hasta atrás. Yes, it's something blue. It's a little blue, something blue, like a, something yeah. in the background. Yeah, because it, otherwise you won't see this because of the light. Yeah, 14, 14 millimeters. Okay. You have a suture? Oh, sorry, pick up. Sorry, pick up first. I just want to make sure the nerves are okay, right? Yeah, the nerves okay there. Okay, I see the nerve. Oh no, I haven't done that yet. This is the fluoroscopy image, clearly demonstrating that the foreign body had been successfully removed. Nothing there. Okay, sound off. Take it right now. Yeah, let's take the x right away. Oh, Can you think of. Here are the before and after x rays demonstrating that the foreign body was removed. The before is on the left and the after is on the right. And you can see it clearly, clearly that the little spike on the bottom part of the x ray is missing now. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.